Now, I'm holding in my hands a piece of tubing that doctors here are hoping could one day help hundreds of people who suffer from sleep apnea. That's when the walls of the throat relax and narrow during sleep, interrupting normal breathing. Around 4% of middle-aged men and 2% of middle-aged women are thought to suffer from the condition, which is made worse by being overweight. So how does this work? Here's our health correspondent, Michele Paduano. Gladys Unjo used to stop breathing up to 20 times an hour, sometimes for up to a minute. The result, she was tired and lethargic during the day. The only solution for any sleep is CPAP, air through a mask, but it's not pleasant. I hope I can sleep without it again and wake up well in the morning. That's what I'm looking forward to. It's not a lot to ask, is it, a good night's sleep? I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's a long time since I had one. <laughs> Research clinics often diagnose sleep apnea through video recordings, which identify broken sleep. Gladys will have a plastic tube inserted through her mouth into her upper small intestine. It will then be opened up to act as a two-foot barrier, stopping food being absorbed into her body. It's hoped that the weight loss will help her breathe more easily in future. The procedure is reasonably simple. There are possible side effects like a liver abscess, but the device will be removed after a year to minimise this. Gladys will start by eating pureed food, but eventually she'll be able to eat what she wants. This patient was a, a first of our trial patients in those patients with diabetes and obstructive sleep apnea to see whether weight loss through the management of their diabetes with a uh, endobarrier allows them to uh, improve their sleep apnea to the point they no longer need overnight uh, CPAP. After the operation, Gladys felt sick, but we visited at home three weeks later. But I think it's getting better. Yeah, I'm feeling better myself already. I have so much hopes in this. <laughs> Doctors are now holding their breath in anticipation that she will no longer be holding hers. Michele Paduano, BBC Minutes Today. Right, on then to some of the highlights.